In the 250 division, finishing in third, riding for Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, Justin Cooper. <laughs> finishing in second, riding for Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, Austin Forkner. <laughs> and the winner, riding for Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, Dylan Ferrandis. In the 450 division, finishing in third, riding for Team Honda HRC, Ken Roxon. And finishing in second, riding for Red Bull KTM, Cooper Webb. And your winner in the 450 division, riding for Monster Energy Kawasaki, Eli Tomac. Congrats, guys. Uh, Justin, you've had a couple weeks now where things have started to spiral a little bit. You've been able to salvage what you have, but um, where is your mindset right now that we've had a couple weeks here where things just haven't gone your way? Uh, I don't think anything's changed. Just uh, stuff's getting thrown at me that I don't want to be, I don't want to go through. So uh, it's it's part of racing, and just uh, you guess every time you, you're out there, you got to do your best, and no matter what happens, you got to you know keep fighting. So. Uh, that's what we did tonight and kind of put myself in a good position in the, in the main by getting a good start. And, uh, yeah, I uh, tangled with some riders in the first couple sections, put me back a little bit. But I uh, just uh, happy to be on the box tonight. Uh, it wasn't looking too pretty after the heat race. Austin, um, Anaheim won. We had a chance to see all three of you up front. And since then, you guys have all had your nights where you've had good and bad. But we haven't really seen you all together. Um, tonight, you're able to go one on one with Dylan there. And obviously, he gets the win tonight. You had the issues with the lappers mid race, and he made the pass. Uh, what's your thought on where you're at now, speed wise, racecraft wise, everywhere as we get into the middle part of this season and just compared to the two guys that you're fighting for this championship? I felt like um, my riding was, was pretty solid. Um, <clears throat> we weren't until I kind of got in. We got into some lappers, um, and I kind of made that slight mistake in the whoops when I was jumping through them right before he got me. I mean, we weren't really gaining, or we, we I mean, we were pretty much matching each other every lap. It was like we were pretty. I know. I mean, it was. You you kind of had to make a mistake on the track to to gain on anyone um, with how tight it was, but we were kind of matching each other. And even after he got me, I mean, he didn't. I, I kept it. I tried to keep it pretty close. So. Um, I was happy with my speed. Um, my fitness was good. Um, just kind of um, that mistake, uh, jumping into the whoops and kind of getting in the lappers just messed me up a little bit. And then after he got me because I went off the track and jumped back on, um, I, I could just never, you know, get up close enough to show him a wheel after that. So it was, uh, I mean, it, it was good. I was happy with the way that I rode. Um, if I could have got the lappers quicker um, and not made that slight mistake, it might be a little bit different. But, I mean, overall, it's... I mean, I'm happy with the race, but wish I could have got the win, obviously. Dylan, congratulations. Uh, coming into tonight, we are four rounds down in the championship, and you had only won one race. Um, I know that you've been frustrated. You've mentioned that to me on the podium a number of times. Was tonight's win and the way you're able to do it by making a pass, getting the lead, and having a pretty good start too early, does this kind of feel like things are starting to clean up the way you want to as we move into the final round of these this first six before we go to the break? Um, yes and no. Uh, we know we changed nothing. We didn't change the bike. We didn't change uh, any setup. So it's just, um, yeah, we are just, I think mentally I was in better position at the start and I make a better start than, than usual. More like what I do during the week because during the week my start are not so bad. So yeah, good start help for sure. And uh, then we had a good battle with uh, Austin and uh, I didn't feel really good tonight. I was a little bit tired and uh, the track was really demanding and uh, yeah, when I saw the opportunity to to pass, um, I take it. I took it, and um, yeah, it was a was a cool race. But yeah, I mean, compared to last week, where I was really good physically, tonight was kind of tired a little, and uh, was difficult. But yeah, glad I got this win. The red plate, red plate back on my bike is uh, is awesome, and uh, yeah, just uh, stoke on the night. Kenny, congratulations. Uh, two part question. First is, how are you? Are you okay. I saw you get off the bike there, and then kind of limp up. What's What's the status? What what's it? What are you feeling right now? Oh, I don't think anything crazy. I just it's just my foot. I don't know if it got stuck in something or if it was just from the hit or whatever. It was it was a bit of a stinger, but um, nothing nothing too crazy. Not not nothing that I'm worried about. 
Uh, second question is, is you and Eli have now gone back and forth a couple weeks in a row, and it seems like you've been one-upping each other back and forth, and he had a little bit more than you tonight. I don't know, Cooper snuck in there at the very end, but where do you feel on the track tonight you might have been off speed-wise? It was, it was clean, efficient ride, but just a little bit off the pace speed-wise. Yeah, actually, I, f I felt, you know, for... For me personally, uh, in the previous weekends, I, uh, I felt pretty good in practice and stuff. And this weekend, I actually felt kind of slow a little bit. Just wasn't really wasn't really riding too well on the track, and it took me a little bit uh, a little bit longer to get everything down. And um, that four, I'm actually happy that we're on the podium. Obviously, I gave up a couple of valuable points in the end there, but um, I wasn't I just wasn't the fastest tonight. First off, and second, I made a couple of big mistakes with about three laps to go, and they were they were just costly and, and it took me a lot of time and obviously that allowed Cooper to to sneak in there and um, in the last lap you know when you're behind somebody you can kind of kind of pick your lines and, and try to make something happen which which he did and um, obviously not too happy about that but that's racing and looking at the big picture we've been on the podium a lot and um, you know I, overall I'm, I'm still pretty happy to be on the podium. Cooper coming into tonight you hadn't looked really aggressive is the word I'll use um, <laughs> somewhat just getting through your laps and spinning through. But tonight, about halfway through, it seemed like something flipped and you really started opening it up, not only with the pass at the end, but just in your riding in general. Is it is this something you're battling and fighting right now is just getting your full speed back up? Because it seems like that was the first time we've seen you go all out speed-wise. Yeah, I think uh, I finally just raced ahead tonight. You know, I think I've been... Uh just kind of conservative, I guess, and uh, not laying it out there like all these guys have been. So uh, t today and tonight was a much better direction and, uh, you know, fought hard uh, the whole main event. You know, still need a little bit there at the beginning, but uh, overall pretty happy and I uh, feel like I'm in a, in a good spot moving forward. Eli, congrats. Um, took the lead somewhat early, um, then made the mistake, went off the track. Kind of had a weird half a lap or so when you got back on the track. What was going through your mind at that point? Were, were you resetting? Um, was there frustration with the mistake? It just, there was that weird probably 30 seconds before you kind of turned it back on. It was, I was just like, you know, are, are you kidding me right now? You know, because I, I felt like I was being pretty patient early on. You know, in the very beginning, it was uh, myself, Adam, and Ken, you know, and we were kind of just, just riding along there. And then, um, you know, once I got in the second, you know, kind of same thing, we're just riding. And then, you know, I, I get to the lead, you know, feeling feeling really good, um, just, you know, had, had a good flow going, and I was picking my front end up over that little knuckle in the sand, and then, uh, I don't know, just picked it up too much one time, and then my rear end kicked a little bit, or or I missed my rear brake. Anyway, I just rode over the berm, like, you got to be kidding me right now. So, you know, luckily, I was able to, to sneak on there, you know, and, and get going again. So, uh, after that, it was just, it was just all out. Dan Lamb, Moto X Addicts. This is for Cooper. Cooper, like early in the race, you were right with those guys. You battled with Eli, almost passed him a couple times, and they got away from you a little bit. The last seven laps were like a man possessed, and obviously the last lap you went after Kenny. Was there something you found midway in, during the race? And then towards the end, I mean, that last lap was insane. Yeah, the <clears throat> like you said at the beginning, I, I think it was I got a little too uh, excited too quick. Like I tried to make some passes on Eli, and it was just too soon. Um, you know, it was this track where you could kind of, like Eli said, latch on and, and put in some good laps behind one another. So uh, I just kind of jumped the gun too soon and then made a mistake and just kind of lost that toe. So uh, there at the end, I just kind of tried to, um, you know, figure it out and keep doing my laps. But I f found some good lines and uh, started actually hitting the whoops really good. And, uh, you know, obviously at the end, I felt felt really strong and with – with the guys up front, couldn't really see what was going on, but I could hear the crowd, so I knew, you know, there might have been some some battling, so I knew that would give me a little bit to to try to get back towards them. Michael Antonovich with Swap Moto Life. It's for Ken and Eli, you guys five rounds in, and you're 12 points clear of third place in the championship standings. It's a big lead for how soon we are in the season, especially because most people don't think it starts until like seven, eight rounds in. Um, thoughts on that? Is that a big surprise considering how well the racing has been this season or a good thing all in all? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't, 12 points, it's not really that much. You know, things can turn around real quick. And overall, though, like the, the thing that Eli and I have going right now is that we've been pretty consistent besides obviously the first round. But other than that, we've been pretty consistent. So it's, it's for, for me and him, it's been really hard to make a big, point difference but at the same time you know that's that's the fun part about racing and yes it is still early in the season and I'm, I'm just trying to keep the train rolling 
Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's all con all about consistency, right? Uh, you know, this, you know, like like all three of us, like it's it's really really gnarly right now. You gotta you gotta be the consistent guy. Guy be with Vitalmax, Eli. How important was it for you to to grab a win tonight to to keep pace with Kenny? I mean, it's it's huge. I mean, if you just look at the point swing, right? So. Um, you know, we went into the night uh, eight down. You know, now we're now we're three down. You know, if it, if it goes eleven, you're like, you know, you know that just gets harder and harder to make up. So, uh, you know, point wise, yeah, it was huge. Kenny, I missed it. Where where did you ding your ankle at? What? Oh, just in the just in the last turn. You know, just coming together with Cooper, and yeah. And then uh, Justin, talk about that start because you, I think, lined up. I think it was 18th, and. Uh, coming around the outside for the start of the main event there. Yeah, I was uh, second gate over from the right, so pretty far out there. I had a couple of choices inside of that, but they were pretty chewed up. So I just figured um, if, I'm, if I'm this far out, I might as well go all the way out and find a rut that I'm happy with. So um, yeah, came out hard and got a really good start. My starts are coming around now and been doing a lot of work with the team. So. I uh, feel confident in my starts. I wish I could have had a good gay pick for the main uh, and been a little bit more inside to have a better chance. But I honestly thought I had the whole shot and came around and Alex snuck up the inside and I actually jumped into him in the first rhythm. Both my feet came off and I, I almost went down. So uh, my heart kind of sunk there and uh, pushed me back to like outside the top five and then just uh, started picking guys off from there. Aaron Hatz with Racer X. This is a question. Uh, for Dylan and um, Austin, could from each of your perspective, could you take us through the pass when you passed him for the lead? Um, I kind of got held up by a few lappers, and after the sand section and those two doubles, and then that kind of option section, kind of got held up just a little bit, um, and that was kind of all all it took really. And then I I jump, I trip, I was like going single triple into the whoops, uh, clipped it just a little bit. And I think he was still blitzing, and um, he was a little bit. I knew that he was a little bit faster than me there, um, but um, I felt consistent with what I was with what I was doing, and I could make it work if I got it clean. And that lap, I just kind of clipped it, and I mean, I heard him there, and I tried to tried to scoot around the top and just get around the corner, and, and he was there, and and <clears throat> basically left me no room, and I just had to go off the track. Um, wasn't like a bad pass or anything. I mean, I would have done the same thing. So it was. I mean. It was racing just after I went off the track, getting back on, and then all that stuff. I lost kind of track of him. I, I lost that, you know, being close enough to show a wheel or kind of, you know, so. For me, yeah, like you said, um, he was jumping the whoops and I was keying and I felt like it was faster tonight. So I um, I knew um, I was this 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 place to, to pass this um, opportunity. And yeah, I was uh, waiting for the good, good time. And yeah, just this lap is... Um, with the, maybe with the lapper also, he, he get a little bit uh, lost some time and uh, yeah, just went to the inside and, and passed him. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think it was a, a bad move. Uh, unfortunately, he went out, out of the track. But this corner also was a little bit sketchy. We all tried to, to turn really short to open the next six section. So yeah, I mean, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. I just, um, I just um, jump on the opportunity that he, he gave me. Yeah, the pass didn't look too bad and you guys sound like you're fine with it too. Um, crowd obviously thought a little bit differently um yeah whether or not that was from that or residual from other things but does that creep into your mind at all when you're out there i mean do you try does it make you hesitate to put an aggressive pass on anybody when there's that kind of reaction you know might be waiting for you yeah for sure I, i'm thinking about it a little bit but at the same time uh, it's uh, it's austin faulkner you have uh, more win than me uh, in supercross i mean you know that if you want to pass him you have to to, to jump on uh, the first opportunity and, and make it make it uh, make it work. So at the same time, I know I have to to be a little aggressive, but at the same time, I also don't want anything happen like uh, like it was in A2. And uh, but I mean, everybody in the industry was really supportful with me the last two weeks, and even the the AMA they they told me like, yeah, we want you to race uh, aggressive. We don't want it's not because you're on probation that you have to. To, to be too nice or whatever, you, you have to be aggressive, you have to, to, to make pass on the track. So yeah, that, I try, but for sure, I'm thinking, about, thinking a, little bit, a little bit about it. But yeah, I mean, uh, anyway, I, I think just the, we need to be, I mean, if I want to make clean pass, I have to be faster. And uh, I think that was, uh, I, was, I was tonight.
Uh, this is for Cooper. Um, these first few races have been hit and miss a little bit. You've said in the video series that you're doing right now, you just want to be in the top five leaving San Diego. You're there right now. So championship implications overall have been good for you so far. Uh, yeah. So, so I mean, obviously, I, <clears throat> I've had a bad round, too. That, that cost me a bit. But uh, I think that was maybe my, my problem a little bit, just like I said before, being a little conservative. And, uh, you know, these guys are, are laying it all out there and, and you know, really riding well. So, uh Obviously, it is a long championship, but, but you never want to be, be down uh, a lot. So, like I said, it was really important tonight to try to claw my way back into it and, uh, you know, made a little bit of progress for sure. It's a question for all six of you. Um, the tracks have been different this year, uh, a lot more technical, um, but I feel like this one was a little bit easier as far as the obstacles go, but again, still busy enough to slow you guys down mile per hour. Uh, Justin, I'll start with you. What do you think of tonight's track just compared to what we've seen this season, and are you overall happy with uh, the tracks this year? Uh, tonight, I, I told the team right away, it's it's like a slow kind of technical track. It's not really anywhere you can open it up, and I knew it was going to be like that as soon as we went out for the first practice. It's hard to tell for track walk, but definitely felt it once I got out there, and it was just some slow sections tonight, so um, it was it was critical to make some good changes quick, and just uh, felt felt all right on the track. Uh, I think the tracks have been good this year. We've uh, had a bunch of everything, I think. So um, nothing. I think it's created a wide variety for you know all the riders to excel in what they're good at, and I think uh, they're doing doing a good job with the tracks. And uh, look forward to what's coming up next. Yeah, um, in my opinion, I thought that this was probably some of the. Um, probably the softest dirt we've, we've rode this year. I mean, like in practice, by the time we even got out there, we were second practice, it was already starting to chew up. And that may have been a little bit because, you know, with the tight sections, we were all kind of taking the same lines. Um, so maybe they just chewed up faster because of that. But I felt like it was pretty soft. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's good that they kind of throw some, this was a pretty tight track and it's different than anything we've ridden this season I feel like so I felt like it was a it was a good design and um it I mean you you had to be pretty perfect because it was it if you made the slightest mistake I mean that was kind of all it took if you were like about the same speed as the other guys so um I thought it was a good track um you know it, it, it was a little tight but uh I mean it was a good track uh, my opinion is um, I think we were lucky that the, the dirt was really soft and a lot of ruts make the track uh, challenging. But yeah, the layout, uh, I was not really a big fan, uh, especially with the, the rhythm in, uh, in the corner. I, I remember last week uh, Eli said, yeah, there's, there's no point to, to do that. Like uh, when, you're, when you're racing on the, in, and there is rhythm in corner, you, you just can follow and uh, there's nothing else you can do. So yeah, I was a little bit surprised they make a two, two track in a row with, with a lot of... Uh, Rhythm in corner and uh, was really stuck on the first three rounds. The, the layout was really cool and uh, and uh, challenging. But yeah, it's the last two weeks uh, kind of uh, yeah, and a li little bit uh, so so feeling about the the track, especially with uh, yeah this uh, this uh, cornering section uh, was. I'm not really a big fan. Eli. Uh, yeah, I mean we've had a little bit of everything. Obviously, last week you know we had you know the big stadium in, in Phoenix and. Um, to be honest, the only thing I haven't liked this season is the is the bend in the rhythm sections. Last week we had a bend in the rhythm section. I don't think it really worked out that great. And then uh, this week with that with that triple, you know, when they put the pole up from guys jumping across the the inside there. So, um, but overall, I mean, the other the other elevated turn worked tonight. So um, some things were good, some things not so much. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a good mix. Quick follow up on that: Are you liking the fact that the lap times are longer? They seem like they're. I think they're trying to get a little bit longer lap times. I mean, you guys were 59s at your best tonight. And for Oakland, that's pretty long. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, if they get really short, you know, the track just gets destroyed. And, and for this track, it really wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Uh, this place can get really, really rutted. So, uh, you know, the crew did a pretty good job on getting it tuned up for that main event. Yeah, <clears throat> I've liked the track so far. I'd agree with Eli. The the bends in the rhythm is the only negative, you know, I think it makes it super one line and uh, in those those areas. But overall, I feel like uh, it's nice. I feel like the berms are kind of built back up and the, the transitions are um, challenging. So, uh, 
yeah, good so far. But like, like Eli said, the, the bends and the rhythms are a little, little different. Yeah, I mean, I agree with those guys. And in the end, you know, I just – I don't try not to give it too much thought and just I embrace it every single weekend. You know, obviously there's – every track is going to have something in there that's a little bit, you know, maybe weird or, you know, most riders don't really like, but I just try to embrace them every weekend. Thanks, guys.